Today, we will talk about uh, a question in integration. The question is this. <clears throat> The derivative of the function is given. The derivative is tangent x. Domain is given from 0 to pi over 2. And one condition is given. When x is 0, the function is zero. So the question is, the first part, what is the original function? And the next, a point is given, the x-coordinate of a point on the graph is given. The x-coordinate is pi over 4. Then, passing through this point, what is the equation of the tangent? And what is the equation of the normal? So the situation is like this. This point is given, this point. And passing through this point, you draw a tangent. Also passing through the same point, you draw a normal. The tangent line, the normal line, and the y-axis and close a triangle. And the question is to ask you to prove the area of the triangle is pi square over 16. Prove this. The first step is to do integration because the derivative is given. So, you integrate, you integrate the derivative function, which is tangent x. Tangent x is sine over cosine. Now, what is the derivative of cosine function? The derivative of cosine d cosine x by dx is negative sine x. You multiply dx to the right hand side then you see negative sine x dx is equal to d cosine x. Or you can put the negative sign to the other side. So you will have a relation. Sine x times dx is negative d cosine x. This is exactly what we have here. Sine x dx can be written as negative d cosine x. So this is the result. Sine x dx is negative d cosine x. This is actually a differential relation. Yeah. If you are familiar with differential equation, differential uh, relations, then it is helpful in doing integration. 
So we write this as that. Once you have that, you see d cosine x divided by cosine x. If you integrate that, that gives you a log function. There is a negative sign before it. So you integrate it, it's negative log cosine x plus a constant of integration. To find the constant of integration, we need initial conditions. The condition is when x is 0, the function is 0. So this condition goes here. When x is 0, the function is 0. Cosine 0 is 1. Log 1 is 0. So this is log 1 plus constant of integration, but logarithm 1 is 0. So 0 plus c, the left side is 0, therefore c is 0. Because c is 0, my function is from this. You want to find the first part, which is function is negative log cosine x. The next step is to find the slope of the tangent. The slope is the derivative, which is already given. The derivative is tangent x. But the x value is given pi over 4. Therefore, the slope of tangent is tangent pi over 4. Tangent pi over 4 is 1. So the, the slope of the tangent is 1. What is the point when x is pi over 4? Substitute pi over 4 into our function we have already found the function. So substitute pi over 4 here. Function pi over 4. So this is negative logarithm cosine pi over 4. Cosine pi over 4 is 1 over square root 2. So I have negative logarithm 1 over square root 2, but 1 over square root 2 is log 1 minus log square root 2. So this is uh, identity. Log a over b is log a minus log b. So log a, a is 1, so log 1 is 0, therefore I have log square root 2. This is my y value. So the point is pi over 4, that's x coordinate, long square root 2 is my y coordinate. So I know the x coordinate and the y coordinate, and for the tangent, I already know the slope is 1. So I can use point-slope form. What is point-slope form? y minus y1 equals slope x minus x1. So I have y minus y1 equals slope, which is 1, x minus x1. That's my equation of tangent. 
what is the equation of the normal? The point is the same, so y1, x1 are the same, but the slope is different. The slope of tangent is 1. The slope is normal. Slope of the normal is negative reciprocal, which is negative 1. So the equation of normal is y minus y1 equals negative 1 x minus x1. Okay. The slope of normal multiplied slope of tangent is negative 1. This is negative reciprocal relationship. So we have covered what is the function, what is the equation of tangent, what is the equation of normal. Oh, by the way, I like to comment this is a standard form of straight line, which is called a point slow form. So you have point slow form here. In my opinion, you can stop there. You don't need to change it to y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b is another standard form, which is called intercept form, slow intercept form. But this is also a standard form. You can just leave it there. This is my opinion, all right? You can leave it there. Now the next part is to show that this area is pi square over 16. Let's make a sketch of this situation. This is a point I already found the uh, let's say this is the tangent line. I already found the slope of tangent is 1. 1 means the line looks like this. Uh, 45 degree slope. And the normal is perpendicular to it. So this is the normal. So tangent, normal, and the y-axis, this is the area I want. This is right angle because normal and tangent are perpendicular to each other. So I want this area. Then you will remember the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So what you do probably is one half times this base, you find the length and multiply the height. Huh? Base height. But you don't need to do that because this is 45 degree, m equals 1, 45 degree, and this is negative 1. This, is, this angle is also 45 degree. So this is an isosceles triangle, and this, if you draw a dotted line, this is the x coordinate, pi over 4. Because of the 45 degree, 45 degree, then this pi over 4 is the same as pi over 4 here, and the same as pi over 4 there. So, to find the area of this triangle, you just find the area of this, multiply 2. That's easier to do. So, you do one half pi over four times pi over four. And this is this area. This is one half of the area which I want. So one half the area I want is equal to one half pi over four times pi over four. Two and two here cancel. The area is pi square over 16. Proved. Okay? Now this way is easier. Instead of uh, you truly find the distance, find the length of this side, find the length of that side, you don't need to do that. Okay, that's for this question. And this question is from one of my students. Uh, it's uh, one of the questions 
in her uh, IB course, International Baccalaureate uh, IB course. That's all for this. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.